let's get going. Next piece if we, is we got to uh, push some of these faces back right here. And then uh, we're going to push them back the thickness of the sheet metal, 0 0.025. And then we're going to bend them in. And this is where you would sh sh uh, spot weld two sheets of metal together. So and there's a couple settings inside of here. So up the top, we've got our move tool right here. And it looks like a little arrow pointed up. I'll go and zoom in just a little bit. So we got our move tool right there. And then faces to move. There's two of them I want. And then I'm going to have to go and do the other side. And that one. And right now they are going the wrong way. I'm going to push them back a little bit. And then I got to get my thickness 0 0.025. That's the thickness of the sheet metal. Then we're good to go. I did that one, that side. So let's go and get our other side. That one and I'll, I'll go ahead and start the tool and then I could click on my other one and 0 0.025 again and pushing it back. Not that, not that way. So we're pushing those two surfaces back. So then we got a little gap. That's where our bend is going to go. All right. Our next tool we're grabbing is called the flange tool. So if we're under our uh, sheet metal tools, we've got our flange right there, flange. Now those surfaces that I just selected, I can, I can do my flange on. I think, if, I think I have to do like the opposite too when I do this at the same time, and then I can do the other two. Then our distance is going to be 0.5. Our, so it's only going out a little ways rather than it was at one. So yeah, we are only going 0.5. And then our bend angle, we're doing 90 degree, yes. But then we're going to not do an automatic miter. We're going to do a 45 degree miter. So it's going to cut it in like that. And we're good to go. I have to do the same on the other side. So flange tool. Then I can select this one. Missed. And then we'll also grab this other corner here. And then our settings again. So we're at 0.5. We did not have an automatic miner and the default is 45. So then we're going to be good to go on that. Beautiful. So we use the move tool, to push it back. Take a look at that again. So these surfaces right here, we pushed them back just a little ways, right? Because it's before, after. And then after that, we grabbed our flange tool and put a flange on there with the 45 degrees on it. And it was only coming out a half inch. All right. We learned our, our move and our flange tool. Cool. Enjoy.